Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So, um, I, um, you may have heard me mention in some of my previous videos that um, for a while now I've been having dreams about the way that the systems in the invisible world work. And um, just today I launched a um, bundle that you can buy. It's five teaching videos, which um, there's about 110 minutes, so just under two hours of teaching uh, throughout those videos, and then an ebook as well. And there's five um, main points that I touch on throughout the ebook and through those videos. And I kind of want to um, do these videos uh, starting today through Saturday, talking to you about these different systems and giving you an idea about what's in the the ebook and the the teaching videos and what you can expect from it. So. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about the the way that um, that this was kind of started to me. The first dream that um, I had that kind of opened my eyes to what was happening in the spirit world in terms of systems. I mean, what makes, what causes, um, for example, angelic help to come in? What what makes that happen? And I think I had already shared this um, this dream with you, but I'll just quickly recap it so that you understand how this started. Um, I had just been at a conference, um, uh, and I was it was late at night, coming home, going to bed, and basically I, in my dream I saw the whole world. I could see it from both far away, like up above the world, like taken from outer space as well as like I could zoom in and see very small details and it was there was no difference in in my ability to be able to do that we could see everything very clearly and what I saw was that there were these networks being formed in the spirit as we do different things as we engage in different spiritual activities for example I could see people in their um, in their prayer closets just praying 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 in the spirit and that was causing them to create this, um, they were bright, you know, they were just very lit up. And it was that light that would attract um, angelic activity. And I could see like the angels just waiting for them to get to a certain brightness, a certain level of hotness even. I felt like there was a real, um, uh, gosh, like temperature coming from these people and that the angels were waiting because that would be the appointed time for them about when they would come in and strike uh, that's what I really saw like lightning striking uh, whatever it was that that person was praying at or praying for and um, so anyway that started the um, that started the the process of how I started to have these dreams and the first thing that I wanted to um, kind of get on here and talk about and it's the first chapter in my ebook as well is um, the systems of soul ties. So what I saw was these systems, the more, the longer that I had these dreams, the more um, aspects of them that I was able to see. So for example, these are not uh, like something that operates by themselves. They all intertwine. They connect with one another. And not just in our own lives, but we are all connected. So these there's many many layers and dimensions to this so these do not just affect like one area or one aspect these I saw that they were these systems are all encompassing so they can bend and move throughout all of the dimensions there isn't like oh that just affects this one area or even even in the natural like how we sometimes think about things it's not that way what you do in one area of your life like whatever it is will affect the other areas and I saw that very clearly so specifically speaking about soul ties what I saw was that there could be these systems that were making like a knot it was literally like this black knot of all of these different strands um, <clears throat> tied up and jumbled and like have you ever tried to get like jewelry or something untangled you know how it can get into those very fine knots and you have to find each one and try to work on it little by little it was like that the systems around it now were light they were they were light they weren't filled with light they were actually light and um, the these ties were 
uh, connected and they were making this black space, this black hole where no light could pass through. And um, in my dream, as I'm seeing this, the, the, the Lord was speaking to me and he said, that this is the systems of soul ties. This is what happens uh, when, when there are illegal memories that no longer belong to you. That's what I heard in my dream, illegal memories. And so basically, uh, if you don't know what soul ties are, I just wanna quickly uh, explain that you can get connected to people, primarily people, but also events, also places, physical, geographical places that, um, that at, soul ties are not inherently bad, evil. They, 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 they were made by the Lord and it, for covenant relationships so that they would be so difficult to break that this is how we would hedge up our lives. This is the wall that we would build around our lives. And, um, and uh, so we need to understand, first of all, that there are good soul ties. So this is not like stay away from soul ties. This is like understand that there could be ties in your life that you don't even know are still there. And especially I've seen this, um, you know, in the ministry that I have specifically with people who will say like, I've already come out of agreement with that. I've already broken them. I've already, you know, come against them and spoken out that I'm not in agreement with that soul tie anymore. And yet the soul tie can still remain. And so I, I discuss more about that in, um, in the reset, the package that you can get if you're interested. But I want to talk to you about the importance of understanding that if you continuously have dreams of a person, place, or, or thing that like is from far away in your past, it's like, how did this happen? Why is this person coming up? If they randomly pop into your mind, uh, just you're going about your day and you you're just you find yourself remembering a certain thing that you used to do with that person or a place that you used to visit or whatever, understand that your soul is trying to talk to you. you. You know that it's trying to say like, hey, you need to pay attention to this area. There's something that you have to take care of here. And until you take care of that, it's going to just increase and you're going to find yourself more frustrated because it's like everything is stifled. You're not able to move forward. Why am I continuously having these types of dreams? And, you know, I've renounced that. I've come out of agreement with it. And you can find yourself in this very, like, frustrating pattern. And so in the ebook, you know, I, I put in there a specific prayer and also some other things about the ways, again, this actually was happening to me years ago and I didn't know um, I didn't understand soul ties at this point in my life and I didn't know why this was you know going on but um, but the Lord had had just led me to more fully understand what happens when you get into connection with other people and again this isn't inherently a bad thing that they're established for a reason um, but you have to know how to get untangled from that connection that this this black um, mess of like you know yarn that's all tangled up is really what it kind of looked like it stops the flow of light so it can actually impede other systems that are set up in your life it can impede your progress in other areas it's like what would my job have to do with you know that soul tie or whatever and yet you'll find that your things will start to be affected and it seems as though these two areas of your life have nothing to do with one another, and yet the the, the reality is that they are all tangled up in in that mess of um, these strings that are just knotted together that impede the flow of light. And so, if you cannot get that untangled, it's just going to continue to get more tangled up. The more stuff that you try to like send through those systems, the more stoppage it is. Right? Like if you have a sink. And it's clogged up and if you don't take care of the clog and you just keep putting stuff in there expecting the sink to work it's not going to work you know and that's really what I saw that untangling those knots were so critical not just so that you could move forward and not have you know disturbing memories or thoughts or dreams about that person place or thing but really because it was impeding all of the other areas of your life they were all kind of converging and this was the one area where things were um, being stopped up and so this is the first um, chapter in the ebook it's the first set of videos that I um, that I did in the in this package called the reset that I've just put out um, it's on pre-order today the the reason is because I saw that if a lot of people would understand soul ties truly and how to come out of that agreement how to 
allow the flow of light to to move through that system again then they would have the rest of these areas of their lives that have been gotten off track they, there seems to be no progress there seems to be hindrances those things would start to untangle their own selves because really it was the soul tie that was blocking every other area of the life um, the life flow um, up and so if you could understand how to do that things would um, flow much more easily I want to talk about illegal memories real quick this is what I heard again when I was uh, seeing this this uh, these systems in my dream I heard that these are illegal memories that no longer belong to you and that's that's what the soul tie is and I found my own self um, just meditating on that and it's like there are things when you break a soul tie when it's done correctly those memories don't belong to you anymore and you have to know how to um, set up a guard around your mind around your spirit you know your soul to um, keep out the memories that are no longer meant for you and detach yourself from the those memories and again I'm not trying to say like just think it never happened you know and just like that it's it's that there's aspects of the things that had happened either at that place or with that person or whatever that are no longer um, uh, yours to access any longer they are no longer yours and so we have to have wisdom in that area and again breaking these soul ties correctly will shut the doors to those things that you should not be able to access because you know there's parts of those relationships or those places that we have been to that we do need to access because it's about wisdom. We need to be able to grow from those experiences and take what we've learned and uh, uh, put them into um, action, moving forward, taking that wisdom and really acting on it. But there's other things that we need to be able to shut the door to and soul ties when done correctly, when broken correctly, when uh, you separate and untangle that mess correctly will automatically shut the door to those things and uh, won't you won't be able to access them any longer but it does have to do with your will you have to be able to and willing to say I don't want that connection I truly do not want it because sometimes we'll say like oh I don't want it but in reality you're thinking uh, you know maybe something could happen where I end up back with that person or I I could end up, you know, that was a good time in my life. Maybe I can move back to that place or relive that um, part of my life again. And you really have to understand every aspect that goes into a soul tie and be able to address each layer of that. So again, there's more, um, there's more on this during in my ebook and in the teaching that I do um, for that video. Um, that's all I'm going to talk about today for soul ties. Uh, I'm going to be doing these videos every morning this week around 9 a.m. Eastern time. So I think it's like 8, I think it's 9 <laughs> uh, right now. And so I'm going to be doing these videos every morning this week um, to kind of talk to you about some of these systems. And then if you want to know more information, you can pick up the reset. It's on pre-order right now. It's $19. Next week, Monday, uh, it'll be released officially and the price is going to go up at that time so if you want to get your hands on it you can just visit my website I'll make sure that the link is in the the video um, here as soon as I'm off and you can uh, check this out for your own self and go through these teachings in the ebook I do talk about the proper ways to break the soul ties as well um, one more thing that I want to talk about really quickly with the reset it really isn't like an, a how-to video so it's not like a how to break soul ties it's not it's not like the instructional although I do include it for the soul ties simply because I just didn't want to give you all of that information and then like you're wondering what to do with it but um, so one of the for example the systems that I talk about is a system of surrender so this isn't like how to surrender it's talking about the properties of the system so it's talking about the way that that system actually moves how it works um, what happens if you don't try to partner with it what happens if you try to resist it all of that kind of stuff so it's more about the workings of it because uh, through through that knowledge you may be able to even pinpoint in your own lives like oh, I'm not partnering fully with that or yeah there is a pocket of resistance that that's in my heart I can feel it you know towards this specific system over here or the way that I was looking at um, going about accomplishing that task or um, being being in that position is actually off 
you know, it isn't in um, alignment with uh, the fullness of, of what God wants for me. And so uh, in these videos as well, um, sorry, um, Okay, so uh, I think that's all That's all that I'm going to say about um, this for right now, but if you want to learn more about this kind of stuff, please tune in this week every morning around 9 a.m. I'm going to be live next morning, tomorrow morning, I'm going to be talking about proper prayers. And again, I'm not talking about the way to pray, like how to pray. There's so many different types of prayers. Um, this is more about elements that need to be present when you pray. Um, if you missed some of my videos, I've been talking a lot about intention. There is more to do with intention when you do anything than what you're actually doing. Um, if your intentions are lined up with the Lord's and you have the same vision for something that, that you're trying to build or trying to accomplish, every, th those, those shortcomings, the shortcomings in maybe your, your language or the shortcomings in maybe... Uh, uh, your ability there those holes are going to be filled automatically and I talk more about that as we go through um, I talk about it for sure in the reset package itself but I'm going to talk about that more as we go through um, these videos every morning because uh, uh, this this I saw is like the soil of your heart so in the parable of the of the sower and the seed you know there's four types of soils and even the good soil even the good soil in that, and, and Jesus said, if you understand this, then you understand even the mysteries, the best mysteries of the kingdom. You'll understand everything about the kingdom if you can get that one parable. Even the good soil had the ability to produce 30, 60, or 100 fold crops. So that's saying even good soil has different levels, has different um, ground that it's falling to. Some of that seed is only coming back at a 30 fold and 30 fold sounds good until you find out that there's the option to have a hundred fold return and so um, when you understand that 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 soil what it produces has to do with intentions you know if your intentions are you could be doing all of the right things but if you can't see if you don't see your life is producing the the harvest that it should it's telling you that's a that's a system that the Lord has put in place like hey check the soil you know, because the word of the Lord cannot come back void. And so it's not the seed. It isn't like what's being planted. It's not that there's enough seed because the same amount of seed sown on the good soil can come back 30 fold or it can come back 100 fold. It's the same seed. It's not the seed. It's the ground that it's planted into. And so that's a very, very, very important um, uh, mystery. It's a revelation that the Lord wants to give out and to not just have us like, agree to it in our heads like yeah I understand that it's really like allowing that to seep in and do inner workings in our souls and in our spirits so um, I'm gonna be speaking about that as we go through um, these videos so tune in tomorrow morning around this time 9 a.m. tomorrow I'm gonna be talking about again proper prayers this isn't how to pray again this is the system why prayer is so effective why it's so important do you know that there's not not any other single thing that you could do in the spirit than, than praying. Praying is the most important thing that you can do, that you can be engaged in, in the spirit to see your dreams come to f fulfillment, to see your life changed. Prayer is that important. And uh, I'm going to be talking about why that is tomorrow. So I'm going to make sure that the link to the reset is in this video if you want to check it out. Um, go do so. It's on sale right now. This week it's going to be only $19. And next week when it's fully released, uh, it will the price will increase to $25. So um, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you tomorrow morning around 9 a.m. I'm going to be talking again about praying proper prayers.